High Tide is an Alberta-based cannabis corporation focused on the manufacturing and wholesale distribution of smoking accessories and cannabis lifestyle products. High Tide is a vertically integrated company with portfolio subsidiaries including RGR Canada Inc., Cush West Distribution Inc., Smokers Corner Limited, GrassCity.com, Canna Cabana Inc., and the majority of Cush Bar Inc. High Tide Incorporated trades on the CSE under the ticker symbol HITI. Joining me now is Raj Grover. He's the CEO of High Tide Inc. Raj, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's so I great to finally have you here. I have to get you a little present for hosting me. For me? All for you, my little friend. Little me? All for you. And that's a wow. pre-launch piece as well. So this is limited edition. It's not out yet. So we're launching that on February 28th at a convention in Vegas. What have we got here? Well, you've got an all-in-one piece signed by Snoop, of course. Yeah. So, you know, you can facilitate this. Uh, for herbs and when dabs are legal in Canada, uh, you, then you've got it all. Until then, you gotta save your dab tool there, but everything else works. So this is my dab <clears> deck. <throat> That's right. And the, what bucket. about this one? That's a carb cap to control the airflow of your dab. Wow. This, this, so this one's your herb bowl, and, which is interchangeable. And, and this that's is your dab tool. Beautiful glass. Yes, this is designed by ourselves in Snoop in California uh -huh. and, and manufactured overseas in one of our facilities. Well, I'm going to get high as fuck tonight just trying it on out. Hey. Look at that. Thank you, you, brother. That. That's awesome. <clears throat> Leave that it. right there. You got Raj, it. For those who don't know, what does High Tide do? So, you know, High Tide is 10 years in business. We're celebrating our 10th year. Mm -hmm. um, so High Tide started in 2009 with a single store operation called Smoker's Corner. And today we're made of six different operating entities. So we've got, to simplify it, we've got two operating entities in the wholesale distribution division, mm -hmm. which is manufacturing, wholesale, and distribution. So we sell, you know, water pipes, hand pipes, Sherlock's, grinders, vaporizers, you name it. The difference between us and any other regular distributor in the cannabis industry is we manufacture 75% of our catalog just like that piece over there. So, you know, we have seed to sale margins when it comes to accessories. So that's the wholesale division. Um, what we're very proud of in our wholesale division is we've also cornered the paraphernalia licensing market. So we've got licenses such as Snoop, Trailer Park Boys, Paramount Pictures, Lionsgate Studios, Guns N' Roses, Sublime, to name a few. Wow. Um, and counting every day. And Midas Letter. Of course. <laughs> Happy to do, that, do that deal with you. Um, yeah, so when, we're going to start <clears throat> selling a lot of this merchandise as branded Midas Letter in due course here. I am very excited about that because that's where our 10 years of expertise comes into play. Right. You know, and I want to talk a little bit about our retail play, which is Canna Cabana, which is one of our most ambitious um, you know, cannabis retail store rollout. So we started with accessory shops. We have 14 accessory shops you know, uh, running in the country. Mm -hmm. But we also have maximum permits achieved in Alberta. So we're not behind any of our competitors that have maximum permits, which are either publicly traded or private companies. We've already achieved that. But on top of that, including you know, a couple of LOIs in Saskatchewan, a um, couple of LOIs in Ontario. We signed two deals with the lottery winners. Mm. Um, but what makes us different is you know, we're not trying to be um, the Apple store. We're not trying to be a record store. What we really are is the one-stop shop of cannabis we know our customer for the last 10 years you know it's the same customer um, you know we have the age the demographic the average income what they like what they buy we know the accessories that sell so you know the dif differentiation between a can of cabana outlet and any of our other competitors really is that it's a one-stop shop for our customers they come in you know we're not sending them to a smoke shop or a head shop after to buy stuff we're we're all in one solution and we can provide them the variety and even our competitors are buying our products. Wow, so do you guys sell cannabis? Of course, so we have uh, four uh, Canacabana locations that are selling cannabis in Alberta. We have eight opened in total. We have 26 more that are in various stages of construction. You know the moratorium in Alberta, but that's not affected us. Uh, from opening them up as cannabis accessory shops, mm -hmm. educate the customers, sell accessories, because that's what we've been doing for 10 years. And then we still have four stores open for cannabis. But every day, every month, the supply is getting better, so we have more and more coming online. But well, we're ready to rock and roll with maximum locations pretty much everywhere in the country. Yeah, wow. So um, do celebrities come to you and say, hey, we want 
to license our stuff for paraphernalia to you? So, you know, um, I, I take a lot of pride in this because we were the first guys to go to Paramount Pictures and, and convince them to give us a studio license. You know, studios are billion dollar enterprises. They don't, they don't deal in the marijuana world. But they've seen our level of packaging, our quality, what we do. We had a deal with Snoop, and that kind of opened up the doors from there. And because we were manufacturers of pretty much everything we sell, or 75% of what we sell, it was an easy connection there. Now we're with Lionsgate Studios. You know, we have some really interesting licenses coming, so stay tuned. Mm, American Psycho Water Pipes. Ooh. <laughs> um, Roger, you've been the recipient of a uh, pretty significant investment from uh, one of our favorite companies, Aurora. Uh, they put $10 million in on February 13th, and uh, that's a coup no matter how you cut it. What attracted <clears throat> Aurora to High Tide? So, you know, this is another moment where High Tide is extremely proud to be, proud to be partners uh, with Aurora. Uh, Aurora's kind of kept an eye on us for the last couple of years when they were looking at accessories. Uh, not just investing $10 million in High Tide, they've also given us our largest PO to date. Mm. And we're not only manufacturing Aurora branded accessories, but we're also distributing it through our platforms uh, and our 3,000 stores worldwide. So the Aurora name gets out. Um, you know, Terry's kept a close eye on our accessories business and it's just taken off from there. 3,000 stores worldwide? That's right. Our accessories are sold in 3,000 stores worldwide in 20 plus countries. Wow. That's incredible. So can I ask you, what does the revenue picture look like in 2019? So when we were a private company, um, last year, 2017, uh, 2018, our revenue was $10 million. Now that we're public, we're expected if a single, if we don't open a, a single location of cannabis anymore, which is highly unlikely because I said we did two LOIs in Saskatchewan, two in Ontario. We've got some in the line in um, Alberta. We'll do about 25 million plus. And if any of these stores come online, we're talking about north of $50 million. Wow. Okay, so what kind of, uh, what kind of net income are we talking here? So, you know, our, our gross margins are absolutely fabulous because of accessories. But again, cannabis because retail. Because you manufacture 75% that's right. of your stuff. So, you know, um, some of our competitors have put numbers out there on what their breakdown is between cannabis and cannabis accessories. We can proudly tell you that our average, average Canna Cabana store out of the four locations that are open, we do 16% of all of our revenue in accessories. So mm. once you have 50 to 100 stores open and you're vertically integrated completely, you know, you're, you're um, uh, self-sustaining, yes. all of that margin is going to add up. So we're looking Looking better just because we're not just cannabis we're so much more than cannabis Wow excellent um, so tell me about some of these other accomplishments over the last little while you've uh, you're listed in Frankfurt you're you're uh, you've, you've got deals with the lottery winners some lottery winners in Ontario um, I mean so what what's where where is all this going where's 2019 gonna do for uh, high tide in the shareholders. So we've had quite a bit of a run since December 17th. We only pu went public like seven weeks ago and we did so good, Aurora wanted to put a press release about us. So, hmm. you know, and they, they mentioned everything, going to Frankfurt, getting listed in Canada, doing two deals with lottery winners, two letter of intent in Saskatchewan. Yep. So 2020 and 2019 is gonna continue uh, building on these successes. Uh, we're very focused on cannabis retail outlets, so we'll have maximum allowed retail outlets anywhere uh, in the private provinces, uh, you know, the ones that have allowed recreational cannabis. Sure. And then, of course, we're trading on CSC, mm -hmm. so we're looking at uh, some uh, American opportunities as well. Okay, great. I've got the chart up here on my NDI, if that's uh, visible in the control room. And looks like you've essentially doubled in price since you started trading. When did you start trading exactly? December 17th and when we started trading. And, okay. you know, um, we, went, we started trading in the worst month in the yeah. history, you know, in, in decades. So um, we're, we're just getting ourselves out of it. Yeah. And we're just getting started because we were at, you know, 97 million um, pre-market cap before going public. Mm -hmm. And today we're 110. So there's a lot of room to run and we're only just getting started. How many shares outstanding? 197 million. 197 million. I can see what Aurora liked about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. Um, okay, so then in markets around the world, you've got stores selling cannabis accessories. Does that mean that you're perfectly positioned to be the first retail location to sell cannabis in those other jurisdictions? once it goes legal there? So, you know, we have partners for the last 10 years. These are partners that we've had existing in our database, like 300 plus, and that's what differentiating us. I just had a trip to Amsterdam and I could literally add 
you know, $50 million to my top line with friends of mine that have been doing business for 10 years. So we're just only getting uh, started. But of course, these relationships built over the last, last 10 years are really helping us, you know, build the future play for high tide. You bet. All right, Raj, we're going to leave it there. That's a great intro to the company. Looking forward to having you back. Thank you very much for my brand new brain destructing water pipe. You got it. I will be using it with love and we'll come back to you soon.